Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Motorola Moto E that is originally from TrackPhone here in the US. And this is a device that does indeed have the Google Lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the phone was reset. And to continue, we have to either verify the previous security screen lock pin that was used, or if we dismiss that, at the bottom, there's an option that says use my Google account instead. And if we tap on that, it'll give us the option to sign in to the previous Google account that was used on the device. And so that's basically what the Google lock consists of is a way to verify that only the true original owner can get back into a device if you reset it without first removing either the screen lock or the Google account that's on it. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovered the device was locked and obviously they weren't going to have the login information for the previous user. And in those cases, the seller has usually long since disappeared since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days with the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. The procedure is something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection. And we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we we just did here now. So as you can see, the device was on the Google lock page and then I just powered it off and plugged it into my USB cable here that's connected to my computer to have our unlock program run on it. Now that that's done, once the phone finishes restarting, we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup steps without running into the Google lock. So one moment here while it finishes booting up. Okay, so we're at the startup screen now. We're gonna go ahead and hit start and just begin running through all of the steps one at a time. We're not worried about connecting to a mobile network, so we'll be skipping that. We also don't need Wi-Fi, so we're gonna skip that step. And now it's gonna to come to the date and time. We're just gonna hit next. We have to read and agree to all of the Google services. And then it's gonna ask us about setting a screen lock, which we don't need. We're gonna skip that also. And most of these options were not available to us previously when the device was Google locked. We couldn't get that far in the setup step. So that is a very good indication that the lock has been successfully removed. And then there's things to accept with the Motorola privacy settings, which we're gonna turn off because we don't need them snooping on the phone at all. Next, and then the carrier doesn't need access to our location either, so we can turn that off and hit next. And something else about track phone that we have to not agree to and continue. There we go. And then it's gonna walk us through how to use Android's navigation gestures. We're just gonna skip all the way through that. And there we go. We've got the home screen loading up. We have full access to all of the settings, features, and apps. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you and verify exactly what we are working with. So when we go under about phone, we can indeed see that we have a Moto E. 
And I know you saw the track phone logo there on the back of the device. And so that specific model number there, the XT2052DL, is the model number of the track phone specific version of this phone. And track phone also includes its subsidiary carriers like Straight Talk, uh, Total Wireless, uh, Simple Mobile, and I think a couple others. So all of those carriers would show the same model number for this specific device. So if you have a Moto E from TrackPhone and need help getting the Google lock removed from it, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact info will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.